Hello, I'm Dr. Lauren Houghton from the Department of Epidemiology at Columbia University's Mailman School of Public Health. This video is part of our mixed method series to serve as an introduction to public health scientists. This session is the introduction to mixed methods. So what is mixed methods? Mixed methods is both a method as well as a theoretical approach. As a method, it is the collecting, analyzing, and mixing both quantitative and qualitative data into a single study. In terms of knowledge production or epistemology, quantitative methods are primarily deductive. They move from top down from theory to the formulation of a hypothesis and confirmation or rejection by individual observations. Whereas qualitative methods are primarily inductive. They move bottom up from particular observations to patterns to the formulation of a hypothesis and then to theories. What mixed methods does is it can follow both inductive and deductive reasoning and bring them together in a single study. Sometimes mixed methods is mistaken for qualitative methods. However, qualitative data collection and analysis has its own distinct and rigorous methodology. What mixed methods does is it integrates both quantitative and qualitative methods across all stages of the research process. It's helpful to make a distinction between the edict and enemic view, a concept from anthropology, in order to really understand why mixed methods is useful for public health scientists. So quantitative researchers usually frame their research questions from an edict or an external perspective from the population under study. On the other hand, qualitative research follows an emic perspective. That is the internal perspective that puts participants and their views at the center of research. For example, in nutritional epidemiology, an edict view may use quantitative methods to obtain a nutrient level data whereas an emic view may use qualitative methods to understand cultural practices around mealtime. Both are completely valid and um, rigorous methods, but they get at different concepts of the same construct. Quantitative and qualitative data collection and analysis also differ. First, quantitative methods gather numerical data, typically from close-ended and structured questionnaires, publicly available data resources, clinical records, or biological measurements. Whereas sources of qualitative information include text and images coming from documents, transcriptions, or field notes derived from in-depth interviews, focus groups, or participant observations. Second, quantitative data collection usually occurs separately and before data analysis. For example, epidemiologists may standardize a survey and analyze the results once all data is received. In contrast, qualitative data collection tends to be more iterative. Qualitative researchers may refine, refine their interview guide and analyze data as they collect it to help assess saturation. This is when no new themes emerge from interviewing additional participants. Third, Quantitative data collection tends to be generated from a probabilistic sample with the goal of being generalizable, whereas qualitative data collection follows a purposeful sampling strategy to gain in-depth information from predefined groups. Quantitative and qualitative methods also have their own um, study designs. So from most public health scientists are probably familiar with the quantitative designs, such as case control, cross-sectional, cohort, or randomized controlled trials. Qualitative study designs include case studies, narratives, which weave together a sequence of events to form a cohesive story from in-depth interviews, documents, and then they use this story that usually illustrates a larger life influences that created the phenomenon under study. 
Qualitative study designs also clues ethnography. This is really that kind of quintessential idea of, a, of an anthropologist in the field. But ethnography can, can occur in all different settings, including clinical ones. And then community-based participatory research. So just like quant and qual methods have their own study designs, mixed methods also have their own study designs, which we will get into in the next video. So the true benefit of using mixed methods is that when, they, when researchers combine both quant and qualitative methods, they gain additional insight. So as Freder and Freshwater wrote, when myth, mixed methods is really one plus one equals three. In other words, the whole is greater than the sum of its parts.